First of all, have you ever done, taken any um, business classes or learned about leadership styles or anything like that? No, actually not. No. Okay, so um, what do you think leadership's about? Maybe we'll start there. Okay, so I think that leadership is about like a person or more people, but like a um, restricted group. So not too many people that can like manage um, a big group of people. And um, so they have to have uh, like very good managing skills and also social skills because they have to deal with people because people that are um, controlled by the leaders should be um, like happy to talk to the leader so it should be something something good to speak and um, and also i think yes that the leaders are the one on top but they should always like ask for the opinions of their um, of the other people uh -huh. so to understand if they are doing their job right and uh, Yes, to see what the other people think, because maybe when you are on the top, you you need to see everything from a different perspective to mm -hmm. understand to understand if you're doing it right. So, yes, I think that's okay. Important. Yeah, that's great. Absolutely. So there's a couple things in there that were really good. You pointed out. So leadership is often associated with managing. So if you're in a management role, then you want to be a leader. Uh, so we are going to talk about that a bit, um, about what's the difference between a manager and a leader and which one is better for a different situation and which one uh, maybe you want to be. Uh, so that was really fantastic. And also, yeah, there's different types of styles, but in today's world, we're getting less into uh, the kind of autocratic leadership, which means I'm telling you what you're going to do and you're going to do it. And we're getting more into the democratic, which is what you were describing, uh, having other people be able to voice their opinions and participate and engage. So it's definitely as a whole, as, a, as the globe, we're getting away from the autocratic and more towards the democratic. So that's great. So there is a bunch of different things with leadership. There's a bunch of different theories, a bunch of different styles. Today, we're going to talk about a guy named Kurt, and his last name is Lewis. So Kurt Lewis. So he established um, through four main types or three main types of leadership about 80 years ago. So I think it was 1939. And what he said is the leadership styles are autocratic, so I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do and you're gonna do it. There's the democratic, let's all participate together in this. And then there's liaise fair, which is kind of like, hmm, I'm gonna let you guys all do your own thing. And if you guys have any issues, maybe you can come to me, but mostly I'll delegate everything I need to do to you guys and I won't have a part in it. Um, and then as times kind of evolve, situation leadership has been, situational leadership has been added into that. And what that is, is just um, leadership based on the situation you're in. So maybe you're put into an, um, a room with a really diverse cultural group. So you change your leadership style to be able to um, accommodate everyone. Or maybe you are in an organization and the organization is new to you and you're getting your bearing. So you change your leadership towards what the organization does. So it's basically whatever the situation you're in, you change your leadership style. So those are the ones we're gonna chat about a bit. Uh, is there any type of leadership roles you've ever been in? So maybe school or a sport or an activity or um, anything. Yes, so at school 
I'm like the um, I don't know how it's called in English, like the students representatives of my class. So, okay. So yes, with my um, with my friend, we are like the voice of our class to the um, teachers and to the um, the school in general. So uh -huh. we have the meetings with the other. Uh, representatives from our uh, from the other um, classes and with the school like headmaster and things like so, that so how were you assigned that role why do you get to have it because um, my um, classmates voted for me we had okay. like the elections at the beginning of the year okay so your classmates voted for you cool so that's really Really great, good congratulations. <laughs> um, so how, what did you do or did you do anything? Maybe it's just natural to you that made people want to vote for you? So I think that I'm a very like precise person. 